it's and the imagery stuff is here and now you know i go onto facebook and everyone's creating these bizarre avatar versions of themselves through these apps and it's just so sophisticated and advanced now that from here on in unless you're taking the photograph with your own eyes Oh, you've stumbled across an yeah. actual physical ex I don't even know if we can trust that, but like, you know, the question <sighs> is now how from yeah. here on in does anyone looking at our questions of history or reality um be able to source it online? So here was my solution mm. to this. Ooh, and this is what I realized. We we and our whole audience, or I can't speak for everyone, but I think a vast majority of our audience and creators around us have forgotten to do one really important thing. Boots on the ground. Cliffhanger. Cliffhanger. No, ready. <laughs> so really <laughs> important thing. So when my friend drew this card for What's me, that? the Oracle card, and it came out back and the, the card. Ca ah. Yes, back to the card. And the card said, <laughs> you are supported by the unknown and it dawned on me that through this whole analysis of history and debunking history as we've done we've had to put our eyes through like that process of hyper analysis so we're hyper tearing things apart and we're hyper like and analyzing things and in doing that we flip from the other side of our brain right that actually remembers that we are totally supported by an unknown force, God, source, whatever you want to call it, and or just the spark of reality, the magic that creates reality through us, like we are endowed with that. So we have forgotten to remember that we are able and capable of, Campbell, of not just hyper-analyzing information, but then sitting down and connecting our consciousness with the very things that we're discovering and through that connection mm. of consciousness we will find information that can't be fucked with via ai so once we saw that mountains were giant trees once we saw that fact that simple fact we should have then if we were wise spiritual beings sat down connected with the consciousness of that fucking big old tree trunk and let it talk to us. And we have forgotten to do this along the whole way. We haven't sat mm. there and thrown our consciousness to the buildings that we're looking at and, and, and introduced ourselves and asked if it wanted to say anything to us, if it wanted to tell us the story. We haven't sat down mm. and like faced the elves and said, great, now we are aware of you. Now we acknowledge your existence. Now we have our focus on you. What would you like to say to us? What would you like to speak? What wisdom and teachings do you offer us through our direct source of communication with you? Because we have been gifted. Our, our consciousness has put our eyes on these things. And because we have put our eyes mm. on these things and we start perceiving them, then we have access to everything they are and everything they know. But we only can access that when we step out of our hyper-analyzing brain and into our intuitive brain and sit there in direct Exactly what JC does when she talks to the trees. She goes there, she sits in meditation, she talks to the trees, and they tell her amazing things. And yet we, as an amazing truth community, have not put any attention, at least you and I have never talked about it, about sitting there and mm -hmm. actually, mm -hmm. like, if we want to know the story of the elves, then we now, with our presence and focus on them, our consciousness entwining mm -hmm. with them, we need to ask to talk to them mm -hmm. in meditation. Agree, yeah. And then yeah. I thought, oh, my God, star forts, buildings, um, <laughs> friggin', um, even, even the um, cabbage patch babies. If you guys want more information on the Cabbage Patch Babies, if they were really, really there, that was really, the, I mean, it fits so perfectly. I, I mean, it's a perfect answer. Like, if you want to know more, put your consciousness yep. on it and talk to them. If you want to know about the trees or what they knew, if you want to know about Tataria, go and talk to these relics that we see or go and ask the elves. Mm. 
yeah yeah we we we, we forgot about, about the magic part you know i often say you know that the news is the lie right and the fairy tales are the truth well are we living like fairy tales you know because even going into this and we talk about that um you know a lot of people still want to reference books and that but 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 we know what books are right we know who's who, you know we can't trust any of it so what we need to do is trust ourselves and, and trust ourselves enough to know that we are connected and, and that the answers we get are valid yes. you know because this is again you know we've talked about this before this is the biggest the biggest thing they do to us right they take away our imagination and our connection to um you know the ether i guess to other worlds to other um, yes. forms of connection and they tell us no 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 it's just a, a square box and a teacher and everything physical shut up and, and do what you're told or stand in the corner so i think yeah you know we talk about this a lot but but are we doing it but no i, I was not very doing good this. point i have not been doing this no, i have I, been researching no, no i have been deep diving I have yeah, been exactly. analyzing. Yeah. I have not I've been intellectualizing. Mm. I've been trying to make understand how all this is playing out in, intellectually. I haven't then been following that up mm. with my consciousness. Like I mean if any question that we have from here on in, like really Campbell, we shouldn't even come on a podcast until we've sat there in meditation and actually put our consciousness on the thing we're asking for information on and see what we get. Like, have you ever sat there and meditated your whole consciousness on a star fort? No. 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 That's the thing, right? Do so, you think? Yeah. yeah I mean, <laughs> <It's> Campbell, <a> very... <laughs> your information that you're going to get putting your consciousness on a star fort for a few meditation sessions will probably be fucking profound mm. and it won't be anything that you're going to find mm. online. You'll probably have information that it's not online because it's not part of the matrix. It's actually talking to the direct consciousness of that living, breathing, energetic form. And like, because you are so mm. knowledgeable on star forts, you're one of the, probably one of the world's experts on star forts by now, I would say, I think you'd win sale of the century. If you were going to do it on Star Fox, I think you'd be a very strong candidate. Man. Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> so, the so from your yeah, consciousness, fine. Campbell, you would come up with an extraordinary conversation. You've learned enough to be able to meet that energy on principle, like in full form. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we've been going on about, you know, you know the, the question is the quest, right? And, and asking questions and asking questions and, and I guess what we need to think about is, is who are we asking or what are we asking, you know, where are we getting the answers from? Because, yeah, we've been getting them all from the system like we just have, right? I mean, and that's, you know, this, again, this is not saying it's bad or good or anything because that's where we are, right? That's what we were taught. That that was our, our reference for information. But we've now proven that it's all crap, right? Everything they put out can just be proven as, as false. And we've got all the, the questions now. So with better questions, maybe we need a better source of information right ask a better well, source and, I mean, and what better source exactly. than source itself yes campbell yeah. that's ask a better source 